Aquaponics refers to any system that combines conventional aquaculture, raising aquatic animals such as snails, fish, crayfish or prawns in tanks, with hydroponics, cultivating plants in water, in a symbiotic environment. Right, I just thought I'd give you a quick look around the aquaponics setup I have here. We'll start perhaps at the top, there's the uh, solar panel feeding down into the battery boxes down here. Uh, the cable you see here is um, charges the battery overnight. Uh, the little solar panel is not sufficient to charge it. The pump that we're using is a cheap, uh, quite a cheap little Chinese pump down here, pumping at uh, 20 litres an hour, which is fine. Okay, so what's in the barrel is very simple. This barrel here contains the fish, or at least will contain the fish, as soon as I've managed to cycle the thing. Here's the dam outlet. This here is a Venturi system that sucks air in and uh, you might be able to see it flushing. The bed itself, I've got scoria, at the moment I'm growing some, some lettuces and uh, there's some kale seeded, which is yet to come up. Here's the <coughs> bell siphon. You can see the, uh, the air on the side tied together. It sits in there. The way this works is very simple as the water rises, it expels the air from inside the siphon. And when these, there's no air there, the water will, uh, will rush down the pipe through the Venturi into the tank. The tank then, with this here, is an overflow. It collects the water from the bottom of the tank, brings it up, and overflows it here. And this is the sump, sump tank over here. The sump tank has got a bit of a cover over it, as you can see, a bit of algae growing, but the cover is basically to collect as much dust from the scoria as I can keep it out of the system. It's been reasonably successful, not brilliantly. Here's the, um, the take to the pump. Runs across here, up to the pump. The pump, as I say, pumps up here and into the grow beds. At the back here we have a another overflow, just in case the other one for some reason gets blocked. Uh, it will use this as an emer as, this is higher than the other one, so it'll only use it when the other one gets blocked. But it'll mean to make sure that anything won't uh, the f this won't overflow here, so the fish will actually stay in the uh, in the bin. Right at the top, very simple. We have a old patio cover which I've draped over the top, primarily to keep the rain off. The rain is uh, can be quite acidic at times. This keeps the rain off, but it also keeps the leaves off. So coming into autumn here in New Zealand and all the leaves are going to start falling. And I really don't want to have trees growing out of my aquaponics. Um, right, there's some, some basil, which I rescued from a, uh, one of our garden beds. All that sprouting stuff there is lettuce. It's been in there just over a week, uh, looking extremely happy. Uh, these lettuces were... Uh, bought lettuces, they were bought in the seedlings and planted in here. Finally the uh, temperature, you can possibly see it there. We have about uh, 18 degrees at the moment. It drops down to about 13 overnight, uh, but the, the water in the tanks stays up at around the 15 degrees mark. Uh, dark coloured scoria helps to heat it up. This finally, this little thing here, uh, because we live in an urban environment and there's somebody very sleeps very close to this environment I switch the pumps off at night to stop the uh, the bell siphons draining but uh, call keeping the neighbours happy right well that's a basic aquaponics setup permakai.nz if you want to read more Aquaponics refers to any system that combines conventional aquaculture, raising aquatic animals such as snails, fish, crayfish or prawns in tanks with hydroponics, cultivating plants in water, in a symbiotic environment.